Right, we are in Moto. We are going to build a goblet. I have an untitled scene in empty mesh camera directional light. These are the defaults. Polygon mode. I can tell it's highlighted orange. Basic tab. Yours might say, um, if you have a very new version, it will say something else here like create mode or something like that. But the basic tab, you want this cube primitive. I'm going to hold my, hold my control key and drag this out over here. I'm going to set all of these sizes to 100 millimeters, 100 mm, 100 mm, and then 100 mm. Hit enter. There is my cube. Hit escape. All right. And uh, we can then uh, go to the center selected item and say all. So it is centered in my scene. So that was here, center all and then hit shift A and it will center the viewport okay so we centered the object and then we centered the viewport around the object so if I moved off the scene and I lost my object shift A will snap it back for me right I zoom out I move around I'm like where is my cube shift A and there it is it's back again very important to remember shift A to center your viewports all right, uh, I want to lower the base of this cube so that it's a little bit taller to work with. So I am going to rotate around. Remember, in this viewport here, here's a little rotate tool and you can rotate around your object. These viewports are just panning and zooming with the scale. All right, pan and zoom. So I want to rotate. When I'm looking down at the object, the area around the ground area is darker. When I'm looking at the bottom and looking up in the sky it's a lighter color okay something to keep in mind so there's a gradient and then when it's in the middle it's in the middle so dark looking down light looking up grab the bottom of this I'm gonna hit B for bevel and I get a red slider bar and a blue bar sometimes you hit, if you have an old version you're gonna hit B and then have to click to activate the tool I'm gonna drag that red bar in and drag this blue arrow down. This is beginning to form the shape of our glass. I'm going to hit escape and then hit escape again. Notice what happens. I've dropped two escapes and we've dropped the poly. We don't have anything selected anymore. I'm going to select it again. I'm just doing this for practice for you so you can see what we're doing. So now I've selected that polygon. I'm in polygon mode. Selected the polygon. B for bevel. Dragging in with the red bar and down with the blue. I'm going to go in with the red bar a little bit more, okay? This time I'm not going to drop the tool. I'm using a nice little trick where I shift click on the orange, shift click, and I can drag down. Shift clicking is just, just activates that tool again. I'm going to shift click again because I need to bevel out and down just a little bit. All right, see that? So I'm beveled out and down, and then I'm going to shift click again. Don't shift click on the slider or anything like that. Just sh shift click on the polygon itself, not on the bar. Shift click again, and I'm going in, and then I shift click again. And I'm going to go up and in a little bit. And I can see, I can look here, I can kind of look at what's going on. So notice I'm using my different viewports. That's why I have them. So now I'm over in the front view, and I'm looking at how this lines up. And I just want to line up this polygon with the one above it and I'm looking at my edges right I can even maybe just set that just below there and that's not bad I hit escape twice and now I can see my object now we need to have an interior shape right so I'm gonna hit B for bevel after I selected that top polygon I'm not gonna do it select the top polygon right so I'm aiming down B for bevel set that in this is gonna be my rim Okay, this is I'm setting this in. This is going to be the thickness of my of my of my glass. So I set that in, then shift click so that I bring it down. And I'm looking over here now in this viewport and bringing this down right above that edge. Shift click, bring that down again, and this time in. I'm following the curvature of the glass. Okay, I'm following the lines. Bring that right about there. Shift click, down again and in all right that's that there is my goblet okay 
this time, at this point in time, what I am going to do is hit Shift Tab, and the magic of subdivisions happens. It rounds the object out. All right, this is a great point in time to be able to get a good look at what is happening with my glass and to see what it needs and what I like and don't like and how I want to adjust it. To me, it's too tall and my stem is too thick. All right, so I want this to be a little bit more elegant. I want this to get narrower. In Moto, the right mouse button becomes a lasso. Look at how I can select polygons. But notice something. I am not, I'm kind of turned around here. Let's notice something. When I lasso, I do not get all of the polygons, right? I get just the ones that are in the front. In wireframe view, if I mouse click, I get, I, it's like it's invisible, it's seeing through, it's like x-ray vision for the lasso and it gets everything selected through, right? As a matter of fact, if I lasso here, it got the entire object, right? Because I'm above it and I'm lassoing through all of the parts. If I lasso the top of this, I get all of the rim. If I lasso the, the base, I get all of the base. I want the polygons in the center here. Okay, so now I have that stem. I'm gonna hit my R key on this, uh, that is the scale. They're up here, look where they are. Transform Y does move, rotate that, right? That's that magic one we like the most. Transform the Y. This is, uh, this is drags, this is rotate, and then this is scale. R for scale. Now, something about the scale tool. I can scale in a direction unevenly, right? By grabbing these bars, this is the up and down, I can scale unevenly. I can scale from the center, the big blue ball in the center, all right, and I can scale proportionately in all directions, all right. What I really wanted to do is scale just in the two directions, the Z and the X. I want this to get narrower. That's what this little green button here is for. So now I'm scaling out, see that? So I'm scaling out the thickness of that stem of that glass. I'm going to bring that in, make it look a little bit more elegant. Maybe I'll tweak it a little bit in this direction, just a hair. All right, so that's nice. Now, I also look at this and I think the rim, I don't, the rim is okay, but I feel like the center volume here is not, not wide enough. So I'm going to select this center here. I'm hit R key again, R for scale, and I, again, I'm in the top with this green green little button here, and I'm gonna just kinda scale that out a little bit. Yeah, that's looking like, I'm sure you've seen a wine glass or a goblet, a water goblet. This is actually probably too big for a wine glass, it's more like a water goblet at a fancy restaurant. And um, that, to me, is a little bit nicer. It has a little more volume, a little bit nicer shape. So that looks pretty good. Here's that. Look at that, that's how that is working out, that little interior, that little that little dent right in a glass you've seen before, uh, sometimes known as the punt, uh, and that sits nicely. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. At this stage, we're going to set a material to this. So I'm going to double click on it, I'm going to hit M for material, and I'm going to type in goblet, because that's the name of my material. Whoops, it's not a liquid, it's goblet. I'm going to say OK. And if I go to my render tab up here, render tab, there is my goblet, shift A. I brought in that view, and here's my goblet, all right? And I can set a shaders. This might not come in. You get your render preset browser. There are all different materials. You find the one for glass. Here is the glass. Um, there's gloss glass. There, you know, there's, there's different kinds. So, uh, oops. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to the basic glass, glass clear. I'm gonna drag it inside. I'm dragging it inside the goblet material and I'm dropping it and that made it, it's gonna make it look like glass. Okay, so there it is. All right, we're not done yet. We are gonna make a liquid for this to sit inside the glass. When I go to the model tab, it's hard to see it, right? It's kind of invisible because it's made of glass now. So I'm going to go to my render, back to my render shader, and I'm just going to turn the eyeball off on the goblet. It's just like a layer in Photoshop. I turn the eyeball off, that layer is turned off, it doesn't have a material right now. 
So it just goes to the base material, the default gray. Perfect for modeling, okay? Now, I know from expertise that I really actually need a little bit more geometry, okay? So it would be nice to have another uh, loop right here, another edge loop, right? These are edge loops because it loops around. So it would be nice to have one right through the middle here. There's a couple of ways to do that. The easiest way is to select two polygons, hit loop, all right? And then we're going to go take a look at our curves, not curves, edges, sorry, edge, and then add a loop or um, Yeah, I like this better. A loop slice. This is under Mesh Edit. Loop slice, which is Alt C on the keyboard. Uh, in a, on a Mac, it's Option C. Okay, Option C. I click here. Make sure the count is one at 50%. That works. And we're going to do the same to the inside of the glass. I take two. Hit L for loop. Look around. Make sure I got that. And then Alt C. Alt C, and just let it be at the 50% mark. So there. So it doesn't really change the shape too much, uh, but it does give us more information to our glass, and it's going to do a better job for our liquid. I'm going to take this now. To make our liquid, we're going to copy and paste polygons from the inside of our uh, glass. That way we know that it's going to match up perfectly. Uh, a couple of things I'm going to do under surface. I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna smooth this out a little bit for us. Uh, I just set the subdivision higher. All right. So, um, anyhow, grab that one polygon. Now I can hold my shift button down and keep selecting. I can just click and drag and try to select. The point is, if I get exterior ones, I, I don't want that. That doesn't work for me. Okay. I need just the interior volume. So I'm gonna take. Another way to do that is select that first polygon, hit shift up arrow. Shift up arrow selects polygons going up. Shift down arrow will select less polygons. Okay, so I'm going to select one, shift up arrow until I get the amount of polygons that I want, which is right here. I want it to look like a nice, mostly half full glass. Okay, I have those polygons selected. Edit, copy, or Command C, edit, copy. Need a new mesh. This one should be named, by the way. Once we make an object, we should name it. So I need a new mesh. Add item, recent, either mesh or right here. Mesh comes in empty. There's the goblet is now wireframe because we're not on the goblet anymore. We're now on the new mesh. Command V or edit paste. Those are my polygons. I'm going to turn off the goblet so I can look at it. And you'll notice. It's, it's actually inverted, right? It's the interior, um, but we need it to be flipped. We need these polygons flipped. It's really easy to do. We hit F on the keyboard. Just hit the F on the keyboard and those polygons get flipped. We're gonna go to edge mode, double click on our loops, all right? Double click on that edge. P for polygon. We need to add a polygon to add it. Go to polygon mode and have that, if you dropped it, that's fine. Just grab that top polygon B for bevel once, and then don't do anything, just shift click so that we have another bevel, and I'm just going to drag in just a hair, and now that's our, that looks good, all right? So this is going to be our liquid, so I'm going to name this liquid, all right, that's my liquid, and right now those polygons are directly on top of each other, and that can cause a render error, so the best thing to do is the R, R for scale, and just a neat little trick is I can hit this equal sign and just say 100.1%. If you have to type each one individually, you do 101% all the way through. So it just slightly is overlapping the other polygon. M for material, right? So we select this, we hit M for material. This is going to be our liquid. All right, okay, doke. Go back to our render. Let's turn the goblet glass on. Our liquid is white because that's the default. All right, um, it looks kind of like milk, but not really. Um, so let's go to liquids. Look at that. There are liquids, water, 
Uh, is that the only liquids we have? I thought I had some other liquids. Let's try organic. Haha, <laughs> organic and liquids. Yes. Now we want some sports drink. In our fancy goblet glass, we'll put some sports drink in there. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is delicious. Who doesn't want to have a little sip of that? Okay. We are here in that viewport. I can kind of toggle around, kind of zoom in a little bit, take a look at this glass. All right. And that is all. That's, that's, that's it. We've done it. We've made a glass and we've put a liquid inside. Congratulations.